Africa is setting its sights on the sky, planning a mission to the moon. Juliet has the story. Africa is where it all started, where humans first walked upright, developed language and discovered tools. So why shouldn't this continent be exploring space? The Cape Town-based Foundation for Space Development is shooting for the moon. The non-profit organization is funding the development of a robotic craft that will either establish an orbit around the moon or actually touch down on its surface. The Foundation for Space Development was established in 2009 as a non-profit organization to meet the requirements of a growing space economy in South Africa with public and private sector interaction and the arrival of the South African National Space Agency in 2010. Our main objective is to promote space awareness, outreach and education. The foundation wants to generate the cash for the project through a crowd-funded campaign called Africa to Moon Mission. But their mission isn't just to plant a flag on the lunar soil. Once they manage to skyrocket their way to the moon, video images will be broadcast back to Earth and their feed will be fed into classrooms across Africa via the web. The program's primary objective will be to provide a series of public participation and scientific missions over several years, culminating in a final mission to the moon. Africa to Moon came about as a result of our desire to want to do something big, something audacious, something that would um, stimulate um, what we see as a, as a major problem in Africa at the moment, and that is both the, the lack of, um, of science, technology, engineering and mass education and the brain drain, the number of skilled scientists and engineers that we lose to uh, developed nations every year. A mission such as this doesn't just happen in one go, but will roll out in multiple phases. Phase one of the mission is calling for a minimum of $150,000 or roughly a million and a half rand. This isn't the first mission to the moon to look to crowdfunding. In fact, a British group raised £661,000 for their Lunar Mission 1. That's a considerable chunk of change, so there's reason to be hopeful. The initial phase covers the development of the full program, final mission concept and associated feasibility study, as well as outreach and public participation events for 2015. In order to meet the objectives of the Africa to Moon mission, we want public participation. We want people participating from the profession, from academia, right down to school level. In order to do that, we need to fund outreach. We need to go into the schools, into the universities. So we launched a crowdfunding campaign to put funds together from communities to allow us to do this in the early stages. We raised $25,000 in our first crowdfunding, which closed on the 31st of January, and that's enough to start the momentum on our program. During the rest of the year, we're hoping to raise another $125,000 in total, and we have various avenues where we intend to do that through fundraisers, through individual donors, and through institutions who have already approached us. 25% of the funds have been promised to STEM, a science, technology, education and mathematics program presenting a series of workshops for educators and students. This mission is being undertaken as a scientific exploration mission. It shouldn't be uh, misinterpreted as anything else. That is, it's a prime imperative that we get that right, that we show that Africa can contribute to the global scientific community. This wouldn't be the first collaborative space exploration project. Nine countries in Africa are currently involved with the Square Kilometre Array Telescope Projects, where dishes have been built on South African soil as well as eight African partner countries, namely Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia and Zambia. We're hoping to inspire people with this um, very rock face Africa to Moon endeavour and hopefully this will create a greater excitement and a greater array of projects like the Square Kilometre Array and Africa to Moon that we can get behind as a foundation. Africa's quest for the moon has begun and all that's standing in its way is cash. It's quite possible that an African flag could be hoisted on the lunar surface in the not too distant future and that's out of this world.